<laughs> you still didn't switch out the chair. It's been a whole day, and you could have switched I, you out know, the chair. I guess I've got amnesia. <laughs> you do. <laughs> or dementia or something. Hey, it's Friday. Happy Friday. Does Friday mean anything anymore? No. No. <laughs> No. Unless you're big into sports and the games that you want to watch are on yeah. Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. That's a thing. I watched you know? some football over the, the holiday, the, the holiday oh. weekend. Yeah. I didn't. I, I, I that's you know, you've given up social media. Uh, it's the Krisha and Frank show, so Hi. if you want to follow Krisha online, you have to do it here. We're forcing you to watch the Krisha and Frank show on YouTube or listen on any of the audio podcasts. I mean, apps. the subscriptions are just going through the roof now that they can't get access to me. That's right. You're the key. I figure that's that's the whole plan <laughs> is we limit access to Krisha so that we can get more uh, more subscriptions. Yeah, I, on YouTube. the thing is, I don't think anybody even notices when you're gone. That's true. You don't. You only notice the people who are there because you get irritated at them. Yeah. Um, well, anyway, Nobody's also irritated at me. <laughs> in your social media hiatus, you've got more time to listen to podcasts mm-hmm. and other audio entertainment, including fantastic audio books. On audible.com. You can go to audibletrial.com slash Krisha and Frank. Get a 30-day free subscription. You get a free download when you do that. You get to keep it, whether you keep the subscription or not. Yeah. But I have a feeling that anybody, honestly, anybody who tries it, and they're not paying us. Right. Like, they're not paying me no. to say this. Right, you already are a member. Yeah, and I pay them. Yeah, I mean, it's affiliate <laughs> marketing. We might get a, a couple of dollars if you subscribe. Right. But the point is, uh, we're fans, yeah. so. and I I feel like if you are an, an, an audiophile like I am, that you will love Audible. There you it's go. It's fantastic. Yeah, nice. Yeah. All right. So your visit is <clears throat> over. You had your whole family in over the well, holidays. Well, uh, not not the whole family. We we capped off at six people. Okay. Because there's more. We could have had more. If right, the rest and the of police would have shown up had you been ten or more. <laughs> That's right. No, we, we capped at six because mm-hmm. it was Jerry and me and Frank Jr. Mm-hmm. We're here for Christmas. And he's such a doll, by the he way. Is. He's such a doll. Yeah. He's getting yeah. his PhD. He's going to be... I mean, he's just going to be so successful. I'm so proud of him. Yeah, but he... And it's it's a PhD in chemical engineering, so he'll always have a job. (laughs) Yeah. He's got a a quiet sweetness, like a quiet coolness about him. That, Like once he does start talking, you're like, you're cool, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he likes... He picked up singing while he was in college, getting his bachelor's. And now he's really into it, so he's learning chant-style singing for church. That's awesome. He's in a... um, secular choir up in uh, Ann Arbor called the Vocal Arts Ensemble. And they did a virtual concert where they sang um, Lux Eterna and some other pieces that mm-hmm. are, you know, where they all had to like film themselves and somebody managed to edit them together. That's I'll send cool. you the link to this because yeah. it was really well Is done. Is it on social media or? It's on YouTube. So, okay, I can yeah. watch that. Right. Well, I hope so. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'll make you watch it here before you leave the house. That okay. way, technically, you're on my YouTube. Well, I mean, I'm still on YouTube. Right, I right watch, now. I watch, well, I mean, yourselves. I watch television on YouTube. So do I. Yeah. That's my main go-to. That's my main thing. I like to watch um, the local news. Mm-hmm. Of the three Knoxville stations, two of them post almost everything on YouTube. Yes. And the third one is finally starting to. They're getting there. And I got a surprise message from my sister the other day where she said that she was watching, uh, I guess WVLT, she says, is on the News On app on Roku. Oh, cool. And she says, looks like you're going to have nice weather in Knoxville. And I'm like, where did that come from? Where are you? (laughs) And so I sent her a picture of us out going for a walk uh, around the neighborhood. And um, we're already, well, I know I'll get to that in a second. And I was just surprised (laughs) that my sister was watching. And then she said um, it was the day they had the uh, COVID vaccination clinic. So it was last Saturday. And she said, looks like they had 500 COVID vaccinations in Knoxville. I said, yeah, it's for people 75 and up. I'm making a note. Because uh, I knew people who mm-hmm. got it, people who are either qualified as first responders or were over 75 and went and got there. I, I saw that... Our friend Aaron Campbell got a shot, I think, because he qualified as a first responder. As a 75-year-old. Uh, there were so many people lined up outside of the health department that it was almost scary What was that me. for? That was for COVID vaccines. Oh, because I thought they were at the Expo Center on... Um, Clinton Highway. They're or some doing other both. Place. They, oh. but they, yeah, it's it's terrifying to me. 
Well, anyway, so people are getting their shots. My sister saw this I'm watching from the D.C. area. Mm-hmm. She's watching Knott'sville News now on her Roku. And I thought, well, that's interesting. I watch a lot of podcasts, other people's podcasts on YouTube. Well, the day you called me mm-hmm. and said, let's do a podcast. Mm-hmm. And I thought, well, we've got a podcast audio mic. And then you said, but what if we did it on YouTube also? I'm like, ah, I've got to buy new shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to buy new shirts. No, anyway, I was excited about it because <laughs> I, I love being on YouTube. It's my, it's a fave thing of mine. And so does Artie Rocket now. He's, oh, he buddy. is enthralled with himself. Um, I, you know that I had a, a sort of a Facebook Live slash YouTube show over the summer. And yeah, Artie, on, my, the, on the last episode I did... Because they they literally canceled me while I was at my mother's um, right. funeral. <laughs> I, so I, I left town to go to mom's funeral, and I, and I get the news that the show's canceled. I was watching live when Artie was on there and almost okay. gave out his address. Yes, yes. So I had to stop him and, and, and <laughs> rein him in and all of that. Well, when he we told him or Megan told him that that show had been canceled, mm-hmm. he screamed "Worst day ever!" and stormed outside. <laughs> oh, sweetheart! And then I have to get on the phone with him, and I'm like. Uh, when I because I said we have a new show, I have a new show, the Christian mm-hmm. Frank show, mm-hmm. and, and he's a little he's skeptical. skeptical. He's like, I don't know, Grandpa. But who, now, now he's all excited about it. And while he's here, he wants to be a grown up. He's I, he's me and doesn't want to go to bed if doesn't want to be the first to go to bed. Right. If the the night that I went to bed early, he was like, I'm hitting the hay right out. In fact, I've got a picture that I can show you of Artie uh, sound asleep. Um, wearing this wolf hat <laughs> with flashlight eyes that my wife, go. yeah, there you go, that my wife gave him. Um, it's it's crazy, I guess. It's a crazy little picture, but um, so he's he's sound asleep, you know, listening, watching the. <laughs> uh, I have to give me a second, but um, so he's listening. He wants that's fine. He'll go to bed when I go to bed. Yeah, right out. But if I'm still downstairs talking to mom, mm-hmm. then it's all about. What's going on? He comes creeping down the stairs. Oh, that's such and a finally, shame thing. we try to get him to listen to something that he listens to at home, which is like Disney uh, piano music or mm-hmm. something. It must mm-hmm. be on the other computer. Uh, Disney piano music, and we don't have we don't pay for that subscription. Right. So it occurs to some him that he'll listen to the Christian and Frank show, <laughs> and he said he was trying to get it to work, but you know it was it didn't want to play it right. It's a little delicate. You have to be very specific right. and say tell your Amazon device to say play the podcast. <laughs> Krisha yes. and Frank show, and then it comes right on. Yeah. But I knew that, so I started it up for him, and uh, he's out. So er, the last <laughs> so three sweet. nights he's here, he's sound asleep listening to us, Jabber old episodes on about of us. Whatever. Go and but it just yeah, just kept. I gotta playing. be careful about my bad words. I think yesterday I said two bad words in one episode. I gotta be careful about them. Oh. I know. So that was fun, and then while <laughs> well on that day when we were walking around the neighborhood and and doing the selfie to send to my sister to show her the nice um, the nice weather. Um, we encounter some neighbors along the street and they're out playing with their new puppy mm. who they tell us is a Great Dane. You wouldn't know because it's a puppy. Oh, yeah. And then they say, uh, would you like to meet the bigger Great Dane, which is only nine months old and it's gigantic. Oh, yeah. My Emily has a Great oh, Dane. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. And he's bigger than me. So they have. So we saw these dogs. And then as we're walking away, Artie said, I bet they watch the Christian and Frank show. <laughs> I said, I don't. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. I mean, I don't. They might. I don't think they know about it yet. Um, <laughs> he's like, well, we put the yard signs up, but nobody yeah. seems like <laughs> because I, they would. We didn't tell them our last names. We only told them our first names. But they might know that we're we're characters on the show. Oh gosh! So Artie has declared that he and I are characters, characters. on the Krisha and Frank show. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's... But they saw us in real life, so that's confusing. <laughs> it you is see, because it we're is. we're characters on a show. <laughs> God. He is a fascinating, and he has been, and since like since I've known him, you knew him when he was three, and yeah. he, and he, um, and as a three year old, he we... was telling an Amazon device and having conversations with an an Amazon like and I, I boast I boast about this story because he's he loves jokes, and we were working on. <laughs> Knock knock jokes, yeah. or other or other. We were making up marshmallow peeps jokes, and I was explaining to him, you can't give away the punchline to the in the setup. You have to if you're going to say, um, what do um, 
peeps do when they're tired. You can't say, what do marshmallow peeps do when, they're, when they want to go to sleep? You can say, what do peeps do when they're tired? They marshmallow sleep. You see, you have to keep, right? So the yeah. marsh, you don't say marshmallow in the first part. Right. We say it in the second you're part. Giving away. But you can say peep. In the, and I was trying to explain him the construction of the joke. Mm -hmm. And he's, of course, starting to pick up on it. But even when he was three, you had this silly line about how he had made, we had banana split cake. You said, I like bananas, I like splits, and I like cake, mm -hmm. says Krisha. Well, the next day, Artie decides that he likes strawberries, he likes shorts, and he likes cake. I like strawberries, I like shorts. And I like cake. Because he was able to see the construction of the joke. And that made me so proud. And it was it was so funny. My kids were here and they still repeat it. <laughs> like they still repeat if there are ingredients to something. It's like, well, I like this. I like this. And I like this. And then we all laugh hysterically because that's <laughs> as soon as he would hit his cake, we would all laugh hysterically at his three-year-old self. And <laughs> no, he is just, he's so... Well, he He's I, he's so wonderful. He cracked me up on the Tuesday show um, because we did the commercial for Bone Zones. So we may as well just do the commercial for Bone Zones now. So um, he's like, oh, that's Dr. Bass and it's BoneZones.com. Don't forget the S. He knows all the bits. He knows. He knows. He's got the whole bit down from watching the show. But did you see the look of disappointment in his face when I told him that he, I've taken him to lunch with Dr. Bass and he wasn't interested at that time? And he was... Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, because it was um, not 2020, but it was summer of 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, I had taken the boys to Pigeon Forge and then had to go to meet with Dr. Bass mm -hmm. at the Straw Plains Aubrey's. So Jerry came. We were there. Right. And they were coloring or doing something, activity. Susan Seals had brought some, right. an iPad or something. And then Jerry picked them up and left. And, and I continued and he was, what, meeting. five? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so he didn't care that. He wasn't that into skeletons yet. Like when he watched Phantom of the Opera, his favorite character is the skeleton. Oh, yeah. So Dr. Bass, of course, we've got the skeleton version of him <laughs> on the red um, tumbler. And you can check out BoneZones.com. Don't forget the S. And get all the cool... I am obsessed with my tote bag. I use it for when I go to the park and I read books. Oh, that's impressive. Because that's what I do. Yes, that's excellent. It's my book tote. Nice. And uh, you can get that. You can get... All of his books. Yeah, get them signed. Get it. Uh, get it taken care. Of, get get a picture. Whatever it is you want. Mm -hmm. The challenge coin. Uh, some fun gifts for um, yourself. Or if you didn't, if you didn't get it for Christmas yourself, uh, now I, now's your chance to uh, to buy the thing that you wanted. Yeah. With your little Christmas cash at BoneZones.com. Uh, don't forget the S and um, tell them Christian and Frank sent you, and you'll get a hearty uh, virtual handshake. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, we're looking at getting Dr. I talked to Susan the other day. Uh, we're looking at getting us back on the calendar as soon as possible. Good. But, you know, um, we're just it's, waiting. It's tricky times, man. Yeah, the it's... January, unless she told me, she said the, the January, February gigs, theirs got canceled. But mm -hmm. there's a May, a gig in May that hasn't gotten canceled yet. Oh, we'll see. I'm we'll hoping. see. I'm hoping. The UK right. just locked down a couple days ago, so. Well, you know, I, I hear all about the UK oh, lockdowns. Oh, I'm sure you do. I couldn't imagine who from. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't only, have my cup of tea in my chat. And I hear all about. We knew all about someone. That. I'd really like to talk with him. I don't think I've ever actually had a conversation with Bean. It can be arranged. I really would like to be like. So. We could probably. I, I was thinking about um, our friend Aaron Campbell wants to be on our podcast, mm -hmm. and so does Miss Teen Knoxville. Oh, Caitlin Fedrick. Yes, she's one of my pageant girls. You know? I knew that because I read it on your screen. Yeah, she's she's one of the, you know you know how one you know, of your pageant. You know girls how in the parade when I said, "Oh look, there's my from my pageant," because you you're the Donald Trump of Knoxville. No, I was just no, no. I was the Adam West. Okay, I was. I the, like that. I like that. <laughs> I was the goober, the tuxedo, <laughs> who has who. You just left out there, twisted in the wind. You and I, I have just, to. You goober, and I have to. Goober in the tuxedo is uh, a new band name. So you, you and I have to host a pageant together someday, so you can see how excruciatingly difficult it is. It's I, I actually don't want to do it anymore because it's too hard. Yeah. Um, and I no offense to the the. Carnes fairest of the fair, but you get these handwritten, you get these young women mm -hmm. who are like, well, if they're three and four years old, the parent has written it. But right. then these other middle schoolers and high schoolers, these handwritten things all in the first person about how they love their dog, and they hand it to you oh. with no with no time to prepare. Oh, you yeah. get it at the last second as you're going up on stage. You know, they actually, like, sometimes the pageant has already started and they're still giving you right, bios right. of the girls. That's and a lot. So on the fly, you have to read their handwriting in their girly their script and their bubbles. curly cues right. and all that. And you have to transpose it mentally from the first person to the third person mm -hmm. um, and try to figure out. 
when you know and if right. they've got a blended family who you have no idea oh goodness which no. one is mom and dad and who's who and which you know no mm-mm. yeah i would be terrible at that <laughs> so it's a hard it's a difficult i would either be terrible or great so that's what <laughs> yeah you would be great because you have to improvise you have no choice, no choice but to roll with it and not and expect things to go wrong and then you're there just to smooth it over right and make people feel comfortable <laughs> As things go wrong. So we were talking about Aaron Campbell. He he also took a Facebook hiatus. Yeah. He was he, one of the people that you mentioned that like Facebook reached out to him, right? They said he they paid him mm-hmm. to stay off Facebook during the election cycle. And I think he's pretty much stayed off of it since. Yeah. Because he doesn't miss it like you don't, don't miss, miss it. Don't miss it. And I'm thinking that's a great idea. But he came up with an idea of how we could interview him. Mm -hmm. Um, He could record a video of himself on whatever. Mm -hmm. We'd be FaceTiming with him basically here, right? Yes. But meanwhile, he would be recording himself. Mm -hmm. And then he would email me the the video and I would just put him in a box like I do... Like I did with like the Nintendo did Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Yeah, we had two so cameras going, fun. or with the the hot chocolate bombs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, that was... now that I'm getting so good at iMovie, I look. I we got to revisit just for a second that we played. I played Mario Kart again. Like after we were filming, I played again with Artie. Oh, I did. And Frank Jr. Was that because Tanya Cinnamon's comment was it looked like I had PTSD after I looked like I was in shock. You, you seriously, you were like, after we played, you were just like, like you actually took recovery time. I did not feel well. It no. made it made me um, it messed with my head. It made me feel like I had motion sickness. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, when I I can go to those rides at Dollywood where you're in the chair or the movie theater where mm-hmm. I went to see that Spider Man movie where they're punching you in the back. There's this chair that oh. punches you in the back when Spider Man gets punched in the back. Uh huh. It was cool. And the chair and moves so, oh, and the screen moves. See, it's funny because it I hate those things. I'm usually fine I with those, it. but here I am at Mario Kart in my own house, and I'm trying to focus on that one little mm-hmm. quadrant of the screen, and I'm driving off the road, and it's making me... It is different when you, like, you're playing by yourself, or you play just two people, because it's not so tiny, And but any, it was fun. So, but so you actually... I didn't remember that you stayed. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. I thought that was it. I you stayed. Just, you played uh, with the games with the... Artie created a me me. A Krisha me. A Krisha me on the Wii. Is this one? Probably still on there. There's a Krisha me on the Wii. And he kept making me really, he kept laughing hysterically because he would make me super wide and super short. And he would be like, nah. He's like, I can make you taller and shorter. Uh. He's such a character. Did you guys, you guys. I have to tell you about this cake. That yeah. My sister, he, before, he was here, uh, not here for Christmas, but he was at home. Mm-hmm. And my sister Alicia had found in the basement this Santa mold cake. Oh, a mold, not a moldy Santa cake, but a no, mold it's a, for it's a Santa a, cake. My father used to go downtown to uh, New York City and, and shop at this fancy gourmet store called mm-hmm. Bazaar Francais. Oh, Bazaar Francais. And he, we had all these exotic cheese scrapers and slicers <laughs> and all of these weird exotic European mm-hmm. kitchen tools. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and one of the things he had purchased was this three-dimensional Santa Claus cake mold. That's kind of cool. It's extremely cool. And apparently what you do is um, you fill the Santa's face mm-hmm. and body. It's a full body Santa mm-hmm. with uh, your cake mix, batter. Cake batter right? And then you put the lid on it, which is Santa's back. And, it and the cake in. rises. Ooh. And you end up with a three-dimensional Santa. That's cool. And then Megan made black icing, which apparently is more difficult because mm-hmm. uh, she had the tools for that for the belt. And Alicia had red, made red icing, so they did a red suit and a white beard and a black belt. That's cool. And then the cake is like a whatever vanilla golden Do you have a picture. Cake. Yes. <laughs> so I have actually two pictures. That's the before it was iced, and now here it is with all the icing. And it's quite impressive. I would love to see it. <laughs> I can't comment on I it can't. because the magic doesn't happen. I don't now. know where it is. It's it's somewhere. I'm not sure which computer it's on. Dang you! I think it's on the it's on the other one. No, I, I saw have it no earlier. Idea. I, anyway, so um, <laughs> they they bring it up. Alicia made two of them. Uh-huh. She gave one to my sister Catherine, and they had it at their family celebration. Mm-hmm. And then she dropped the other one off at Megan's house, and they had it at their That's Christmas celebration. Delightful. So um, when they actually go to cut the cake, mm-hmm. Artie says he would please like the head. <laughs> of course, of course. And of then course so they 
they cut off the head. I don't have pictures of this. I do, so kids, it's okay. It's safe. But I'm told that Artie says is, is you know, picking on his kicks. You know what would be interesting, Mom? <laughs> oh, no. If they had put raspberry filling in the cake, that would be interesting. It'd be more it, realistic. It very much would be. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> and can we talk about that I have hit a stage in life? I realized it with little baby Lucy. Yeah. I have hit... Oh, she was a doll. I held her a lot while she was here. I have hit the... I am too old to have a baby, but I'm too young to be... My kids are too young, and I'm too young to be a grandma. grandma. Yes, that's right. And so now, just give uh, me all of your babies. You're in the baby desert. Give... I'm, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's dust over here. But I could not get enough of that oh, sweet she, little girl. Adorable. Yeah, she's seven months now. She's born in May. So I guess coming up on eight months in um, next week. And she was in her little jumpy chair when yes. I got here. And she was jumping. And I just started jumping at her. And we continued our jump fest for a yeah. very long time. Well, because she's the, the fourth kid, she has to, in my opinion, it's like her brother, her third mm -hmm. kid, um, he seemed to grow up fast because he had to... Uh, be able to survive his two older brothers. Right. And now Lucy needs to survive her, her three, three older, older brothers. brothers. So, Ooh, buddy. you know, she's got... Um, she's sturdy. She's sturdy mm -hmm. and uh, and beautiful. But, she, yeah, she's working on... She can sit up mm -hmm. and, and, and she's start working on the crawling. And you can see she doesn't really want to waste time crawling because no. she's trying to stand. Because she... She's I only had interested on in standing. And she won. She kept, like... She would, like, put her head on my shoulder and then she would go... Oh, she knows. She's working. She's pushing her buttons. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm keeping you. But I, she was on my lap, and she sat down, and then she was like, nope. And she climbed, yep. and she just like, I'm standing, and yep. we're going. Yeah, she's Let's working go. it, always working it. And I give it two months, and she'll be walking. And she already says dada, because they made a video for um, Megan's husband, was uh -huh. home with the other two. So she says they make a video to send him, and she... Lucy's saying data to the phone the whole time. That's phenomenal. Yeah. Yep. She gets it. Oh, oh wow. All yeah. Right. Mm. All right. I think I've told you all the Artie show stories. All the yeah. Artie show. Uh, so, well, we didn't <laughs> well, no. talk about your... Oh, your gift. Your gift to Artie. We'll have to save that for yeah. another uh, another program because I... I... <laughs> Are you mad at me? Well... It seems like you might be. No, no, no. It turned in. It turned out fine. Mm -hmm. It actually was fine. Mm -hmm. But I had anxiety and trepidation leading into when you gave me the three D Dino Stone. Yes. Paint with your kid, and right. I am. I am. I don't like arts and crafts. I. I am terrified of arts and crafts because mm -hmm. I'm going to make a mistake. I'm terrified of doing it wrong. Oh my gosh. <sighs> So that'll be uh, next week on the Christian right. and Frank show. Oh, I can't wait. How I hate arts I and crafts. I love that painting a dino stone gives you anxiety. Well, I've got video of me doing it, so I, I can... I know I have some CBD around here somewhere. Let's no, just... No, no, it's fine. Okay. No, it's... I'll just, I'll just uh, uh, meditate over the weekend and look at uh -huh. Facebook constantly mm -hmm. while you're not, mm -hmm. and that'll relax me. Okay. Yeah, no, it won't. Have a good weekend. Come back on Monday, please, and uh, subscribe to the YouTubes. And relax. Take it easy. It's Elvis's birthday soon, isn't it? So when is Elvis's birthday? Um, did he die on my mom's birthday today. the 10th? No, today. He, oh. he died on August 17th, but today, uh, January 8th, is, his birthday. is uh, Elvis's birthday. Yeah. yeah. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah. So, so, I got a baby shower this weekend. What about 86? I don't know if I alive. should go. Well, you love babies. You just said. It's a baby shower. It's not out oh, yet. Oh, so the baby's not there yet? Yeah. Oh, well, they should have the baby shower after the baby's born. I'm, I'm on board with that. And, that, and then that's a, literally a shower for the baby. I just don't. Because they have a bridal shower. The bride's there. I just don't like parties anymore. Oh, because of the COVID. I just, yeah, then don't go. Yeah. Don't go. It's too much trouble. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm going to... I'm. Oh, I should have done the arty freeze. <laughs>